even though the card was new when I bought it. It is known to have some issues with thermal throttling, for reasons which I explain during the video. So, not being a technician, I decided to open it up and fix it. It worked very well. Please notice if you would decide to do such a thing, you may lose the guarantee. But at these times, when cards are so rare, I prefer it to have it fixed and be able to work with it instead of waiting for years for exchange. Of course, here you are seeing the Giga Byte GeForce 3080. But the same principle also can be applied with other graphics cards. The architecture is very similar. But you have to first unscrew all the screws. I think uh, maybe it's worth mentioning some of them have an additional feather. I put all these screws onto a little drawing so that later on I will be able to locate them properly. Watch out once you take off the back plate. There are some fine cables that have to be unplugged. And what you can also see here already are the ancient thermal pads which are kind of like juicy and bad quality. There is also some thermal paste on the processor. So you have to carefully take away the cable and open it up. As for the cooling side of the card, here is everything left to be removed. And you use the thermal material remover to clean up everything nicely from this uh, cover area. I would call it cover, I'm not too sure. And then you have another purifier which you can use also to remove all ancient uh, thermal paste from the processor. Which actually appears to look very nice after cleaning. Also, on the VRAM units, there are some juice left from the thermal pads. As I said already, all this has to be cleaned. So now we approach these thermal pads. I make a drawing again to memorize the positions and at the same time note down how was the thickness of those pads. Now for the back plate. There are also three screws to be removed. Unfortunately, I broke this little part of the connector when trying to remove the third cable. I also made a little sketch here to be able to memorize where the screws were. As you can see here, there were no any thermal pads connecting the back plate to these VRAM units. So, of course, I have to put some new thermal pads in between. I take the three millimeters. The whole cooler has been cleaned up completely. So I now uh, add the 1 and 2 mm thermal pads following the notice which I made um, on the paper. I take off the little protectors at the very end because I don't want to collect any dust or oil or fat uh, on these new pads. Now it is time to evenly distribute the thermal compound in the processor. I'm using this MX5, which you can find also using the link below the video. It's quite a tricky thing to put this over, so be careful with that. And then we have to build everything back together again. So I use the screws, which I was kind of like collecting in the beginning. Unfortunately, there is a lot of garbage left in the end. Well, having put back the back plate and the screws, the card looks as new as in the beginning. But thermal throttling, I was able to reduce completely and now the card is running like a bee. Well, anyway, I hope that helped you out in a way and thanks for following.